So hello everyone. This is a this is an ac uh, another lesson of Arabic language. Excuse me. And uh, today we're going to learn four letters. Okay, they're very simple letters that easy to pronounce. And I'm going to begin with the next letter in the alphabet, which would be the R. See, the pronunciation is R. The name is R. So harf ر. So it's it's pronounced ر. If I would like to have the three pronunciation with alamat at tashkil, it would be ر, 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 right? ر, ر, ر. Now before I go to how you would how would um, how would I write that in uh, in different places of a word? I would like to show you the next letter, which is very similar. It's just adding a dot. See? So you just have this curve again, and you just add a dot. And this is the next letter. The name is Zai or Zal. Both, I mean, you can find people saying it anyway, but the pronunciation is the same. It's Z. So if I add the three um alamat tashkil to be za zu as in zu you know it's the same way you pronounce it zu and z just as you're saying the letter z so za zu z should be fairly easy now how to write that um in a word well it's also not complicated since we are at the stage we saw already the dal and this is really similar so you write the ra you know like that you leave a small gap then you have the next letter this is in the beginning and now in the middle you will connect it from the front you write it like this so something connected from the front and a, gla and a gap then a letter then that's it so the next letter will be I mean sorry um, now I'll write it at the end of the of the word which would be connected to the front like that and then just you know that's it so basically it's really simple just a small curve like this that goes under the line and uh, notice if I want to write the zel all I add is a dot above right it's not really complicated. So, this is the za. I'm only doing the time. Okay, let's move on to the next. Um, so, next up is uh, an also uh, an easy, um, what do you call it? An easy letter to pronounce. And this is like the most common in all languages of the S sound. You know? So, it's the name is harf asin the way you write it is like this it's like you having uh, you know we're writing the three in English you know one two three and but it's like 90 degrees clockwise um, you know rotate it anyway so it's like that it's it's seen the pronunciation is sa if I add Alamat at Tashkil, it would be Sa, Su, Si. Again, Sa, Su, Si. Okay, so before I go and write it in different places of the word, the next letter would be the same way you write it, but you add three dots above it. And three dots is like that, like a pyramid. So, three dots. And it's called Sha, you know? So the sh sound, not ch like the Spanish. No, no, it's sh, you know, sh. So um, yeah. So how how would you pronounce that with different alamat uh, tashkil? It would be sh, shu, shi again, sh, shu, shi. Okay, so basically that's it. Now let's move on 
and go to the way you write that. So in the beginning of the word, you'll have one, two, three, and stretch, just like that. Now you see, three peaks, stretch, and connect to the next letter. And in the middle you'll have something connected from the front. Then you have one, two, three, and another. Notice that these three usually are very close to each other. Don't make them um, too big, like this. That's that's totally different. That's as if I have like the ba, the ta, and the tha, but you know, connected to each other. So make sure you don't do that. Sh they should be really close to to um, each other. Anyway, so this is in the in the middle of the word. And then the end of the word, it will be connected like so. One, two, three, and I go below. So it's like this. Should be easy. Now if I want to write the sheen, I just add three dots. Three dots. Three dots. Another way to, uh, another way to write the three, th these three dots is just to connect them like this, you know? Just like the hat, you know, sign. Anyway. So it's either the three dots or the half sign. And uh, I would like to say this, do I have time? Yes, I do. The another way to write it, and this is very common in hand handwriting, is you don't, um, well, it's like this. In the beginning of the word, it will be like this. It's just, just a small hook, you know? So, like, so, just like that. And it's like a very long straight line. This is just like in, in handwriting, people do it to to be like fast, you know. So this is the sa, and this is the sha, so sin and sheen. So again, in the begin in the middle of the word, it will be the same, just a very straight line. It's very long. Usually, they they really make it long to 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 make you know that this is a sin or a sheen. This is not a space. And uh, at the end of the word, it would be like this. Also, you know, if I want to make it as a sheen, I can add three dots, or I can add this hat. I can add here also three dots or a hat to make it a sheen. So this is the four letters for today. Again, I'll go over them quickly before I end. It's ra, za, sheen, sheen. Raza sin sheen. Let's pronounce these really quickly. It's ra, ru, ri, za, zu, zi, sa, su, si, sha, shu, shi. Sha, shu, shi. Okay. So this is that's all for today I hope you learned something you enjoyed it and please comment and um, rate the video that's all thank you goodbye